So today we're looking at a pair of headphones from a company called True Free. So this is what we're looking at. These are the True Free 01 wireless earbuds. Uh, we'll go through some of the specifications in a little bit, but we'll have a look about what's in the box and see what we actually get. Of course, we'll go from there. I'm quite excited about these because I did a pair of headphones a long time ago, mind, and they were more like bone conductive headphones. So they sat on kind of your temporals here. They didn't actually go in your ear physically. So they weren't like normal earbuds. They were just like headphones. So I was really intrigued about these ones. So... Let's have a little look what we get in the box and of course we'll go through the ins and outs and we'll start talking about them from there. Now you don't really get many accessories with these because there's not really many accessories you can have. You don't need extra silicon ear tips, you don't need any of that, you just need a charging cable, a carry case and you're good to go. But we do get a little user manual there. Nothing exciting going on, it's just going to literally just a little user manual. So we do get a little USB to USB type C cable going on there. Nothing special about it. Everything runs off USB and USB type C nowadays. So we do have the company name going on there, True Free. Got quite, it is a solid plastic case. So obviously the case itself, it's it's just plastic. There's nothing exciting going on about there. USB type C port at the back. Uh, got three little LED indicators there for the case itself. But apart from that, nothing exciting. Okay, they're different, I have to say. So I'm going to grab these out and then we're going to have a look at the case first. Now the one thing I've noticed is normally the cases they put all that garish information on the back, on the bottom, on the side of the headphones, on this. There just isn't any. Oh wait, no it is. Oh wow. So they've hidden it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that. They've hidden it on that little line going on in there. So it literally is hidden out of the way. So they really are a weird pair of headphones as we can see here. So that's the headphone itself. So the little bit here that looks like a little mini battery pack. Then you've got the anchor. This goes around your ear. So it just hooks on like that. And just it just sits there. It doesn't actually go in anywhere. So it just sits like that. So you've got the little battery pack around the back here. And you've got the arch that comes around. And then the headphone itself just kind of hovers where, where the start of your ear canal is, I guess. So as we can see there, if the camera's going to behave itself. So we do have the two little brass connectors there, which are uh, for the charging capability. And then just under the side, little fins there, you do have your speaker. So you've got your actual, uh, the actual headphone part itself, your brace, and then your little battery pack. So we'll have a little look through what it's actually offering. And of course, we'll talk about that there. We'll go through some little images as well. Open ear and air conditioned headphones. Fair enough. So they're open ear comfort. So obviously they're open ear. There's nothing actually physically going in your ear. So you don't have to worry about that if that's something you're spectacle about. They're a secure fit. Fairly secure, I'll give you that. Uh, Bluetooth 5.3. Realise that since I've come back to the channel, last time I did a pair of headphones, I think it was 5.1 technology. Now it's 5.3. Come along you in the two years. Instant pairing. So Bluetooth capability 5.3. Very fast. Crystal clear calls. Uh, ENC noise cancellation, they've got massive 16.2 millimeter drivers inside each one of the headphones. Voice assist, so if you want to use this with either Google or Siri, don't start. iPad always tends to go off. Uh, they do have a gaming mode and they do have a total of... Starting to talk to me? It's turned off on me. And then you do have a total of 45 hours of playback time with these as well. Quite cool. So effortless communication, each one of the earbuds does come with a dual microphone setup to capture the voice, uh, enjoy crystal clear calls and allow your communication at ease. Quite nice. Uh, they're a very good sports mate. Yeah, like I said before, they're more designed around of a, a sport headphone uh, due to that little arch around the back. So you don't have to worry about things being in your, in your ear 24 seven. Um, they do have an app. So I'm going to have a look at the app quickly and I'll get back to you. So I have had a look, they have an app called TF Sport. I'm just going to quickly download that, get the headphones connected to Bluetooth, and then of course we'll see what the app's about and how it's talking. Uh, but all in all, they don't seem actually that bad. Obviously I'm going to test them out for you because you guys won't be able to see for exactly, but the app does allow battery indicators. It's got personalized EQ, reset. You can switch the mode between disable touch controls. So they've got MFB buttons on the side or touch buttons on the side, gaming mode, and you've got dual device connectivity. I'm going to assume that means you can connect one headphone to your tablet and one headphone to your friend's tablet, I'm guessing. Right, pop this out here. 
quickly connect to the true free on on, on uh, Bluetooth. They just come up as the true free O ones, so it's pretty simple. So here we are. I'm now all connected. Uh, you did have to set up an account with them, which that's the one thing I'm not a fan with. I don't. I'm not a fan of setting up an account just to listen to my headphones because then that's another thing I've got to deal with on my emails. And obviously, with what's going on in the UK with current cyber attacks, I, I want as little as possible on my emails. So I make up random emails for random stuff. Crazy. So as you can see on the screen there, it's got connection. We're going to click on connection, allow. It's going to search for them. So what we're going to do is is open the device, open the carriage, uh, and then remove the headset. Ah, there we go. Connection successful. So here is the app. So I'm going to put it about here, or PI, I haven't decided yet. So as we can see, we've got the pictures of headphones, which is quite nice, left and right, 95%. We've got the headset function, so you've got dual device connectivity, disabled touch, gaming mode, and custom touch. So if you go into custom touch, you can customize what each touch does. So obviously click. Yeah, so you can change the different ways you want to do it. Click, 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 and then you can change it to whatever you want, whether it's gaming mode, next track. So you've got full maneuverability of that as well, which is quite nice. And then we've got equalizer, so we need to get the presets. So depending on what you're into, what sort of music you're into, you can change that. But then if you're in more of a gaming mode or a gym mode and you want different, obviously you've got bass in hands, bass weakening, pop, uh, popularity, ball, ballad, ballad, if you want to listen to ballads, there we go. Customize, then you've got adaptive as well. So audio optimization, personalization, EQ improves your hearing experience. So you can go for that process. I'm not going to right now. If we we'll go over to the settings, you can see obviously you've got the um, probably uh, probably don't want to do that with. And then of course we've got a few other things so we can customize ourselves. Obviously, if you want to do your own personal uh, EQ, if you're an audiophile and you want to make up your own EQ, you pretty much can do as you please with that as well. Um, but overall, it's it's it yes, yeah, app controlled, but it is a basic app, and that's kind of what you want. If it wasn't for the registration, I'd be a hundred percent happy. I'm just ninety five percent happy. It's just because I don't like registering up. That's a personal preference, so that's not just overall. Um, but indeed, definitely a different design to what I'm used to. They definitely are a weird design altogether. So just to have that looped around your ear is quite nice because the song's getting projected into your ear, but you can still hear everything that's going around. Now, that's not for everyone. A lot of people like their noise cancellation. They like to be able to hear the music and nothing else. That's fair enough. So this is more for the person that wants to use these on a commute or outdoor exercise, even conference meeting or just a leisure chat. So you could be sat next to your buddy in a conference call, but still be able to hear what he's saying or all that good stuff, which is quite nice. So we did say these are uh, Bluetooth version 5.3. Drivers are 162 millimeter dynamic drivers. Playback time per charge is 10 hours on the earbuds and then 45 hours held by the case. They are waterproof as well, up to IPX4. Uh, they are touch control, which we did say, and they are compatible with gaming mode, which allows you when you're using these while gaming on your phone. They have low latency, so you don't, you don't feel like the game is skipping ahead while you can't hear what's going on, which is quite nice. But no, I have to admit, very, very nice. Now, you can pick these up on Amazon if you wanted to and you want to give them uh, a little go. Please check the links in the video description. You'll be able to find a pair out for yourself. But I would say give them a go. They're a total different li listening experience compared to your bog standard headphones. So they definitely are completely different. But I like them. I do. I like them.